Hi guys and welcome to the second part of my um, video on comparing GNOME and KDE and I'm, in this video I'm gonna be just be showing some of the features I like and some of the applications on KDE this is the system control on KDE the application that manages with your system and it is quite different from GNOME desktop because the KDE system tools are much more customizable than GNOME. There are m a lot more options to configure than the GNOME desktop, and it gives user a lot more control than GNOME. KDE is known to be more customizable and more um, having more user control than GNOME, where GNOME tends to t to keep things a lot more simpler. It keeps um, options. It doesn't have a lot of options. It keeps it a bit simple, a lot simpler than KDE. Although KDE has a bunch of loads of options to configure, it's really, really customizable. Whereas having a very simple tool, having simple tools, you get your whole, you get full control of your desktop, and that's really great. One other thing I like to talk about is the other KDE applications. Now I've shown you the start kickstart start menu of the KDE and but I haven't shown you some of the applications out there. And KDE has different selections of applications by when comparing to GNOME. You can notice you notice that because most of the the applications are not does do not exist on GNOME. Well, what wh why is this? Why 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 is there a difference in application selection? Now, if you l read Wikipedia or an article KDE Wik KDE's article on Wikipedia, you will notice it read the history of KDE, and it will t say that the person who invented KDE f felt that um that his desktop environment, his operating system, and his um the applications do not feel work the same he he's, he thinks that oh the interface the features the everything do not work the same way as his operating system does so he invented KDE he invented this sort environment and he has he the community the KDE community developed this KDE special KDE developed applications which are is which are supported by KDE itself. So these applications are supported by the KDE community, and it is guaranteed. It is guaranteed for you to feel, have the same impression of the desktop and the applications as um, you know Microsoft develops Microsoft Office. KDE de develops it, its own tools. So if you f want is um applications which feel and work similarly to your operating system you should try KDE although the some of the, there are some disadvantages with this because as you know GNOME includes the one of the op, uh, world's open source mo most popular applications such as Firefox and Pigeon whereas KDE includes its own KDE developed operating um, system um, applications one um, drawback with KD is that s um, users who have who are new to Linux might not have tried these applications before. Now GNOME they include popular applications, and most users are likely to have used Firefox and Pigeon and all that popular applications. So users who are who have been using Windows or Mac OS might feel a bit more comfortable with these applications on GNOME instead of learning new tools on KDE. Although I'm not saying which one another is better, but I'm just saying that it is um, a user point of view which can GNOME can help users migrate to Linux because it provides w the the tools which users are familiar with. Let me introduce to you one of the two of uh, the tools. This package kit is it is the default package managing some uh, application for KDE desktop environment. It replaces Ubuntu's add/remove and Synaptic package manager. 
as you can see the interface looks a lot different and it works a bit different it has some of the features that are not haven't been introduced on in synaptic and add slash remove such as you know descriptions and all that and the ways of filtering things out having only one tool introduced i think package looks more like synaptic package manager where it allows you to um, search for pa individual packages instead of applications and the name of software itself um, in my opinion i rather have two separate um, package managing tools like on ubuntu gnome that's because in my opinion that's because one tool is used for one purpose and um, at slash remove allows you to search for applications so if you want a web browser and search for web browser but if but synaptic package manager want allows you to search for individual packages and codecs so if you want mp3 codecs or python mono something like that i use synaptic but um, package kit it is not it complicated to use although it would be great if it has the tools the um, existed on gnomes the desktop environment Another tool I would like to introduce you is Conga. Now, Conga is one of the most popular um, KD application out there. It is very powerful. It has been regarded as a web browser on later it is later versions of KD. Although it is not just a web browser, it is powerful a powerful file manager, a photo a manager, it manages photo array. Um, uh, galleries and all that it uses diff differently from Firefox it uses khtml it is the K the KDE HTML version of displaying websites so that's great it is great but khtml isn't officially supported by the community by globally because as you can see Twitter trending topics does not do does not load and if I click more, nothing happens. And much more worse, if I visit yahoo.com, here's what it looks like. And he, this is what my Yahoo looks like. You know, a um, bunch of features are missing out and all that. That's because K HTML is not um, int globally and universally recognized yet. Although this is the file manager, it is as great and as feature rich as um, Dolphin, and more more users prefer Conqueror than Dolphin. It is really really powerful. It has lots and lots of features that you would like, such as this one. It allows you to a terminal emulator inside your folder without going to uh, launching a new um, terminal application. This is great. And one of the criticism with KD4 is that um, it has included two file managers, Dolphin and Conqueror, which both of which um, can do can perform what the same tasks. I rather have one file manager, um, Conqueror, because it is it is full featured. It is also web browser. It's really great. It's really powerful than having two. Um, file managers installed, so that's my opinion, and uh, that re that's really it for me for this um, video. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, this is use. Uh, this is purely my opinion. If you like KDE, use KDE. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.